something we can be sure of is that whenever you have a machine, as soon as you've got a machine of any size whatsoever, if you are trusting something other than another human being with energy and the power to actually do something, there's a risk attached to it. And what the machinery directive does is it says you need to look at that risk. And you've got to establish through your paperwork that you have done everything reasonably possible to keep those risks well and truly down to an acceptable level. The machinery directive is going to be repealed and replaced by a new piece of legislation called the machinery regulation. And that happens in January 2027. If you are currently manufacturing something that is under the machinery directive, that means that your documentation has got to be updated. And of course, if you are changing your declaration of conformity, then you need to make sure that your equipment does indeed conform to the new machinery regulation. And you need to make sure that you have addressed all the differences between the two. Probably the biggest pain point we see with people who are unfamiliar with the machinery directive is it being risk-based. Europe has standards, loads of standards, and some of these standards are what they call harmonized to the directive. So there's nearly a thousand, there's 800 and something last time I looked. So here in the States, engineers, when they start you know, dealing with these European requirements, and then they learn that there's this X, Y, or Z European standard, they start to focus on that standard and they go, right, if I meet the standard, then I've met the European requirement. And that's not right. What matters is that you meet what the law says. The standard is just a way of helping show that you have met the law. The standard does not guarantee that you have satisfied the law. You've got to go through this risk-based process and where there is risk, you have to identify it. And if the standard helps you show that you've got rid of the risk, then great. If the standard doesn't, then there's no value to it for you. People naturally go, I can't be bothered to read that complicated legalese. We'll do the standard. And then you've done the wrong thing and you put a lot of time and effort and money and focus and you've missed the point and you've gone after the wrong thing. If your product is excluded from the directive, we will tell you that at no cost. If you are serious about it and you actually want this done properly, we can give you the most competitive offer you'll find.